Hey English 111 students, I wanted to quickly walk through how to set up your essay in MLA format. So I'm going to show you in Microsoft Word because that's what's on my computer. So when I open Word, my default opens up to just a blank document. Yours may open to this new screen where you've got all these options for all kinds of different documents. Um, there is the ability here in the templates to search for MLA and it will give you a template or a format where you can just plug in everything for MLA. That's totally fine. If you do that, just make sure you plug everything in and delete everything else because the template's going to have all kinds of stuff like how to put a table in and that sort of thing and you don't need that. So I'm just going to choose the, the blank document. So that's where mine automatically opens. And MLA has just a couple of rules. It's actually a pretty straightforward way to write an essay. There's no title page. There's nothing like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is to set all of my um, spacing and font and that sort of thing for the entire essay. So MLA typically is done in Times New Roman, size 12. And you can set that to be the default in your Microsoft Word so that when you open it, it's automatically there. MLA also has everything double spaced, which means up here in the paragraph section, I'm going to choose this toggle, which is spacing. And I'm going to choose 2.0, which is double space. The other thing I'm going to do in this toggle, I'm going to open it again, is click this remove space after paragraph. If I don't do that and it's um, set that way as the default, then every time I hit enter to start a new paragraph, it's going to make extra space and it just looks weird. It makes every paragraph sort of spaced out in its own world. So I'm going to click that so it does not add that extra space. So I'm going to remove it. The top of the first page in MLA is a heading where you put your name the instructor's name, ah, the course, and the date. So if I were doing this for a class, I would put Jennifer Hippensteel, whatever the instructor's name is, Dr. Craig McDonald, English 111, and then the date that it's due. Then when I hit enter, on this line I can either put a title for my essay. I don't require titles. You don't have to do a title or I could just start the first paragraph of my essay. If you do a title, center it and use capital letters. Title of essay goes here, something like that. Notice each big word is capitalized. Then I hit enter, go back to the left, and this is where intro paragraph begins here, etc., etc. Let's just say typing. There's my paragraph. Okay. The first line of every paragraph is indented and then all the other lines are over here on the left hand margin. So if I hit enter, begin a new paragraph, I hit the tab key, indent, next paragraph begins here, and then if I just keep typing, it looks like a paragraph because all of the other lines are to the left. The only other thing missing is in the top of each page on the corner in the right hand side should be my last name and a page number. So I need to tell Word to insert that. So I go to insert and I want Word to keep up with the page numbers. I want it to just automatically do it. So I'm going to choose page number, not header. I'm going to choose page number and I want it at the top of the page and I want the number over on the right hand side. When I do that, notice that the cursor is blinking next to the number. So now I can type in my last name, whatever your name, it's your last name, not mine. So whatever your last name is, type it in there. And then because I like things to match, I'm just gonna change the font to Times New Roman in 12. So now, every time I start a new page, this is going to show up with the new page number. That's it. That's MLA format for just a regular essay. So if you're not doing research or anything like that, that is the only thing you need to know about MLA format. 
Later in the semester, when we do add research to our essays, we'll add some bits to this format, um, things like how to list your resources on the Works Cited page, that sort of thing. But for now, for your first few essays where you're not using format, that's all you need to know. So name and page number, the heading that shows up at the top of only the first page, title if you decide to, and then the essay begins here. Everything is double spaced, so make sure you use your spacing toggle and you're good to go. That's it. So be sure to use MLA format for all of your essays and you will be good to go for the class.